Super Chat from Cody says, As a leader, Rashada should have been the first one to enroll and should have been there to welcome each member of the class. Rashada is not a leader. That's- wow. But we addressed the, the, the elephant in the room with Jane Rashad of what was going on. It, it appeared to be an NIL deal. There was some fluff that it was uh, some a transcript issue. Again, from what I'm hearing, like, I, don't, I don't claim to be like a, a reliable source by any stretch. I simply just have conversations like the rest of us. We go through Twitter. I've got you know people that I talk to that are pretty close to the pulse of things. And uh, even, even, even that person now is scratching their head. We're all a little confused of what's going on here in this situation. And yet again, what had happened... Is on three re- released the report. Nick De La Tour, who is a, a Gator writer, also released the report that Jane Rashada was gone. And then you've got guys, Waters was sweet, uh, Dave Waters breakdown. He goes, there it is. Because again, he was kind of hinting towards it yesterday a little bit, showing that it was an NIL issue. Then it dropped that it was, that Jane Rashada asked to be released. Okay. And a few, about an hour or so later, Hayes Fawcett tweets out. Um, that Jane Rashad goes, where is this from? Nick Del Toro has now updated his article saying that Jane's father has reached out and said, no, this conversation never happened. None of this is true. Not sure where this is coming from. Okay. Um, there's a lot to unpack here because obviously on three, on three has, has been, you know, rivals has done this to us on three has kind of thrown some shade at us and been, and been part of, you know, it feels like a little bit of a jab or trying to bring down the Gators in some shape or form. And we say bring down, what's, how are they bringing them down? Well, you're causing this noise and unnecessary drama, uh, I should say, for no reason. Now, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and blame anybody because I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and kind of claim that on three is trying to throw under the bus because this is the world we live in. There's this, this drug of trying to be first. That's where we're at. That's kind of what we're living in is that on three wanted to be first on the news and Hayes Fawcett retweeted the, the, the message from Jane Rashada and said, uh, time will tell. So that, to me, tells me that Hayes is trying to double down on his uh, uh, initial tweet. Because, look, Hayes Fawcett's a pretty credible source, I think. I mean, I've got his notifications turned on for when anybody recruits, you want to see the cool image. So mm-hmm. this one, this one, even though Hayes is related to On3, I think Hayes has done a great job of building his own brand. And by him dropping that and then getting questioned from Jane Rashada, that's definitely a shot to Hayes and his credibility. Right? So what's what's your take on the situation being a non-gator, Stevie? Um, it just it, it feels like we're falling into the first big example of NIL gone wrong. Like it, it like the NIL has been a huge benefit for these kids. It feels like it's been a huge benefit for keeping uh students on campus and allowing them the the financial freedom to instead of jumping to the NFL in their junior year, they stay on campus. They're finishing their degrees. I mean, Jordan Travis is doing it right. Uh, there's a couple of other players at FSU that are doing it. And it feels like this one, it just feels different because this one feels like, you know, he already moved from one team to the other, you know, from Miami to Florida, if I'm not mistaken. And I think we, we covered that here. But then it's now all of a sudden when he's supposed to be enrolling and in, in moving into campus with the other early signee recruits, now all of a sudden there's an NIL deal, an NIL issue. I, I don't know if I've seen an NIL issue going into the recruiting process. And this, I don't know, personally, it makes me feel like it, this is going to be like where we go back to it's it's a, a dual edged sword, and this seems like it's the ugly side of the the process that we didn't want to see, and so I, I I don't really know. Obviously, I don't know what what Jaden Rashad is doing. I know he wasn't there uh, in time to well not in time, but he didn't he didn't go in with the other early signee recruits to go through the normal onboarding process and you know the typical you know you know, freshman acclimation process. Um, but he has until Friday to still do it. It just feels like that like all of a sudden money got dirty. Money money got involved in what a kid decided he was going to do when he switched from one school to the next. And it comes time to actually make the commitment to go to the school. Money got back in the way. And I'm like, so from, look, from, from things that I've heard in the past, when the whole Miami situation went down and why he came back to Florida was he always wanted to be at Florida. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, money was a little bit of a factor, I think, with Miami, but where he wanted to be was was Florida. Miami really never felt at home, and that's kind of been th- those. That's been written articles. There's been there's been talk about that. So I still think he. I believe he wants to be a Gator. I don't. I think there's there's a bigger piece to this that we're missing. Uh, again, for him to go out there and him tweet at Hayes Fawcett for his dad to come out and say something, that seems like a lot of cleanup work to just end up doing it anyways. Because like, if it is true, what's the point of you reeling everything back in just to then follow through with it anyways? Because you're going to just make on three that much more powerful, which I'm not, that's fine. But you're going to like basically build their heads after the rest of us have been roasting them. And so it's going to make that build up it's going to put a little bit of a damper on, on Jaden. was like, why were you trolling? What was the point of that in the first place? If you're like, yeah, that's not coming from me. Now, I get it. It's not any of their business if nobody has said anything. But I, I wonder where it came from because obviously there was some traction. There was a reason why the story was released in the first place, and it's always going to go back to who who hit the button. That's what it, That's always the big question is why Why was this even spoke about? Why If these two are, are if the dad and the son are adamant, like, yeah, this there's no way, then where is 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 that where we rumors that bad to where writers are now taking what he said, she said, and he said and playing telephone game to create a story because that's how it that's how it looks at the moment. I'm not claiming anything. I'm not saying that, that that is, but that's how it looks. That's how it feels because for them to re- release that, and then both parties that are it's directly related to they hadn't said anything publicly, but uh, Jaden's father did. Not not Jaden outside of the message to Hayes Fawcett. I believe it was to Hayes Fawcett. Um, that feels like it's a lot of work to pull back on if you know none of it's even close to being true. So right, and I, I guess that's the thing is why do why do we why why are we letting a, a story get too much traction? There's there's too much traction for it to never have existed, and then you know the the small pullback on well hold on it's not quite that way that's what it feels like here's the story it gets big and then the retraction from you know rashada and his family is well it's not quite like that you know it's not there there still hasn't been a full-blown no i'm 100 percent committed i will 100 percent be there in spring practice it's never been that buy-in so there's something there and i don't know if we'll ever really know you, you and I, and, and, and folks like you and I, and, and the, the people who are in the chat, will ever really know the the nuances and maybe some of the, the details behind it. But look, if, if, if it's a situation where the kid committed, it, we all celebrated for him. He's going to the school he wants to go. And now we're getting close to where he's supposed to be enrolling. If that doesn't go right, something's wrong there. And now we start to get a bunch of rumors, even if it's rumors. If you're the kid that wants to be at the school, and I, you know, I'm, I'm going to steal these words from you, Sheldon, and I apologize for doing it. If that's the case, just say I want to play football, and we'll figure the rest out later. Yeah, but that's not what's happening here. So there's something else, something else, and I again, we'll never. I, I don't know if we'll. Ever I don't. Really I don't think it'll ever come clear stuff. unless he does end up leaving. Then it might come out a right. little bit, but. It's so here's, I mean, again, I try to look at the positive thing. To me, it's a messy situation. Anybody that's been involved from the Florida side, hopefully we can make some moves. And this is where the Strickland, you know, camp is getting a lot of heat from because it's like, who the hell is in charge over there? What is going on? I feel like with the money situation, with the collective, which we have a relationship with, uh, look, I haven't heard much from Eddie ever since that kind of. The, the news of you know him going into that Miami space and being drunk and kind of going off. He's been MIA ever since. And again, that, that was a, a bad look for the collective and for raising money for players. It, it's been ugly the entire time, which is that's the frustrating part of like, we, we claimed to, that we were ahead of everything and we claimed that we were first to this stuff. And now it's like, well, we just look like we're, we've been behind the eight ball the entire time. And we, it was more of a talk than an actual fact. And that's where Gator Nation is very frustrated. I think we have every right to be frustrated because it's like, why are we dropping the ball? We have an incredible alumni. There's plenty of money there. We got huge, huge cock uh, involved. Like, where are we? Why is the ball being dropped time and time again? Why is it so sloppy? Is there a rat inside that we've got to, you know, figure out? It's just, it's a dirty politic game, and it, we're we're losing poorly in the in the in the political game right now. 
Uh, Super Chat from Cody says, As a leader, Rashada should have been the first one to enroll and should have been there to welcome each member of the class. Rashada is not a leader. That's, wow. I, I, I that agree is, That's that. a huge, yeah, that's he a should huge. Have been there, he sh- should have been there shaking hands with every kid getting off the bus or getting off of you know, whatever, whatever, like however they got there with their parents' car. He should have been the first guy there shaking hands with every kid walking in Welcome him. I'm I, I'm I'm gonna be the quarterback of the University of Florida. Um, and so look, I, and, and we, look if, if anybody who's in this chat has been in the Discord, um, the, the the Discord has been going bananas about this and just different opinions about it's not that big of a deal. This kind of thing happens all the time. All the way to no, the damage is already done. The and that's kind of I think where the word that that comment sits. The damage may already be done. Like the head in the face of of your your football program is 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 a flake right now. He's a flake. Yeah, look, and I think so, it's, so. This is, I mean, it's a, it's a really it's a really solid comment because as the quarterback, you are the leader, and I think that in our championship runs, which haven't been many in a long time, which we went over yesterday, have had a great leader, <laughs> uh, a part of that team. And look, that's that's you're supposed to be the guy coming in. You're the quarterback, and you're if, if you truly care about the team and you truly care about being here, and it's like if it, there is an NIL situation and you're like, hey, we'll get this stuff figured out, but I got to go be there for my team because we've got to get this ball rolling, and I want no to, what. and yeah. I want to take this team to a national championship. Yeah, that speaks volumes. And again, we don't know everything. Maybe it is a transcript issue. Maybe it is something where he's legally not allowed to go. And if that's the case, look, I think, and now we don't know what's going behind the scenes. Maybe Rashada is communicating with the team. Maybe the guys are aware of it. So we're, again, we're, we're, it's, this is what it is, what happens when you talk, right? Because you start creating hypotheticals about what ifs. So I'm trying to be, I, I don't want to be critical just yet without enough information. I don't want to find myself down that rabbit hole, right? Because let's say six months from now, everything's rock and roll and he ends up being a great player. It's like, well, I don't put my foot in the mouth because I, I, I created a hypothetical situation. But how it looks right now, Cody's comments, Nail, nail on the head. 